Hey guys, today we're going to review the movie It. It was released in September last year and I hadn't been able to watch it because I hadn't gone to the cinemas back then and then it was removed so I had no chance but now it's available on streaming and it's available on Blu-ray and all the devices, you know, home video, etc. So I finally saw it a few days after New Year's and I was going to use that as my New Year's Eve film but I didn't because I was like, okay, maybe it's a little bit too scary so I decided to uh, watch Blade Runner instead. The movie It takes place in a town called Derry where uh, a lot of children are going missing for uh, a while. I mean, they have been violent crimes for a, a long time and it, it has happened before as one of the children of the movie points out and then, uh, well, this group of children actually uh, notices that something is going wrong. I mean, one of the kids related to them is missing so they, uh, they, they start realizing that something really wrong is happening and that something related to their fears is happening. Something like a, a creature, like a form, like a spirit I mean, it's not really clear what it is, but it's clear it's a evil entity that feeds on fears of uh, children mainly. I mean, I think it does kill adults in one way or the other, but it, it really aims at children. So it's about this entity killing a bunch of people and the children trying to destroy it. So uh, that's what the movie is about and what the books books actually it's about because I, I think I saw them in a library once and it's like this thick I mean there are two books I think and they are like super thick like a thousand pages each or both I don't really remember but it's a huge book so I think it's really difficult to adapt that into a movie but this movie is actually pretty pretty good I mean the production design and the um, costume design is really well done. I have to say that this movie is again set in the 80s and I get it. People are all over the 80s right now, although it's getting a little bit annoying. And I'm not talking about it only, uh, but in general, everything is about the 80s. Call me by your name and Stranger Things and a bunch of other things and it's really annoying. I mean, the 90s would have been kind of nice, but I think they said it in the 80s because they want the chapter 2, the second part, because we all knew this is, this was going to get a sequel, was to be set in today, basically. So the 80s was the good time to set the children's story uh, for, for that matter. This movie, I have to say, is not as scary as I thought. I wasn't really... I mean, they have jump scares, like they have really disgusting things happening, but I don't think it's a scary movie as such. I mean, I haven't seen a really scary movie in a very long time. And this movie has its moments. I mean, it's scary in moments, it's disgusting in moments, it's very uh, mature in moments, you know, for being a movie about children, basically, about the children that are not really that much into, I mean, that much children, they are into going into the their teenage years, so they're not really that little or anything. I mean, a couple of them are uh, younger, I think, than the rest, but I mean, some of them are just like in the doors, in the doorway towards being a teenager. So you have that ambiguity there. I think the two main performances of this movie are Bill Skarsgård, of course, playing the role of it. He does, I mean, he has just this physicality about him and the faces, the, the, his body language, Everything about him is so amazing. I mean, he really is a clown and this crazy evil clown. I mean, he, I have seen interviews of the, uh, of, you know, the, the actor, and I think it's very interesting that he is so not like it. I mean, he, he seems just like a kind guy. So it, it's surprising that he can transform that much into his character. The other character that I will single out from this film is Sophia Lillis. I mean, that's the, the actor's name. And she plays the little girl in the group. I don't really uh, you know, recall her name. But the thing is that she is the best part of that group. You know, all the other characters are great. They have all their personalities and their characteristics. One is the germaphobe and the other is the funny one, which I didn't really find funny at all. But 
whatever. They, they go from stranger things and you always forget everyone's name to be honest. I mean, there are a lot of interesting characters, but I thought that Sophia Lillis did a great job with a girl that's entering puberty. She's really scared. She's um, well, abused by her father and she's in a really tough position in school too because everyone says that she's been sleeping with everyone. I mean, she's like 14 or something. I mean, it's really... It's really heavy for the actress to play such a character because she's going through a lot and she does a great, 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 great uh, performance. She really is the center of that group, maybe because she's the only girl, but I don't think so. I mean, the other characters are interesting, but simply not as interesting as, uh, as th that little girl. I mean, that she's really... She's really the best part of that group. The directing of this movie is really great, especially the actors part of the directing. I mean, the rest is fine. I mean, the cinematography is okay. It's not surprising, but it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty much okay. The production design, again, is really good. Uh, the costume design is really good. Visual effects, uh, they're kind of good. I mean, they're not surprising or anything in, in, in any kind. Same as the sound design. Uh, the score is kind of interesting. Some of the songs that they use, some of the, you know, like horror themes that they use, that's very interesting. So yeah, I mean, I really think is the big movie of uh, horror movie of 2017. And I think it's one of the biggest horror movies ever, if not the biggest movie ever in the horror genre. So it, it's really interesting that this movie just exploded in theaters and I'm really hoping to see what they do with chapter 2. That's going to be yeah, really interesting because they are going to hire all the older versions, adult versions of these characters and that's going to be really great because they have to return to this town and defeat it again. And that's not a spoiler because everyone knows that that happened in the book I mean, you're in for a treat, basically. It's not a spoiler at all. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see who they choose to play each character. I mean, are they going to do something like in the miniseries that they did in the 90s, 1990 actually? Or are they going in a different way, in a new set of personality traits for these characters that are going to be very interesting? And I hope to see it in 2019, I think they're going to release it. They're going to film this year, uh, like in the middle of this year, I think. So yeah, it's going, uh, it's going to be such an amazing thing. I mean, watch, to watch these movies one after the other is going to be insane. And I hope that they do uh, a great job in that movie as they did in this one. This one is really good, it's really interesting. Again, it's not as scary as I would have thought, but it's a really interesting movie about coming of age, basically, and not the boring kind of coming of age, like Call Me By Your Name. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like or dislike this video if you want. Comment down below if you have seen it and what you think about it. Share this video in your social networks and of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.